Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Basic Math for Marinas Part 4 of the series. You can find the links to the previous three parts in the description section below. In today's video, I will show you guys how to use the scientific calculator to find the inverse values of cosecant secant and cotangent or cosec sec and cot in trigonometry right so please make sure that you watch the video till the end because after explaining the theory behind it i will go into the scientific calculator and show you how to operate the scientific calculator so let's get started so what do i mean by finding inverse of cosecant sec and cotangent now in my previous video or part three of the video I showed you guys how to find the value of cosec 60 degrees secant 40 degrees or tangent 30 degrees something like that similar examples like that right it could be reverse but uh, values of finding cosec theta or secant theta and tangent theta this is what I showed you if you ever want to find not tan but sorry cot theta right so if i if you ever want to find the values of cot theta sec theta or cosec theta i showed you the process of using the scientific calculator in doing so all right so let's say one divided by so cosec 60 is nothing but one divided by sin 60 degrees as well right which is equal to if i press the calculator sine so one point one five four seven zero right similarly sec of 40 degrees is nothing but one divided by cos 40 degrees right so if i divide one divided by cos 40 degrees the answer i get is 1.30540 and similarly cot 30 degrees is nothing but one divided by tan 30 degrees right so 1 divided by tan of 30 degrees is equal to 1.73205 right and I showed you the process of how to do that in the calculator so either you could press 1 divided by sine 60 degrees or you could go and use the x inverse button in the calculator and find the value of cosecant or secant or cotangent however what is the inverse of these values what does that mean so let's say if i say cosec theta is equal to 1.15470 find theta how will you go about doing that now of course some of you are good in math you can use common sense and find it out but i thought i'll show this video for those of you who do get confused right now of course from the top you can see that if cosecant 60 is 1.15470 this is very easy to find but let's say you don't know that 1.15470 of cosecant is 60 degrees so how will you find out theta in this case how will you find out theta in this case all right similarly if i ask you to find if i say sec theta is equal to 1.30540 what is theta equal to how will you find that out right or if i say if tan theta equals 1.73205 what is theta equal to so how would you go about solving theta in each of these equations using the scientific calculator right so let's take the first example cosecant theta equals 1.15470 so if cosecant theta equals 1.15470 how do you go out finding theta so what is cosecant theta cosecant theta is 1 divided by sine theta right so 1 divided by sine theta equals 1.15470 this would also mean if i take this here if i do a cross multiplication there is nothing here of course this would also mean that 1 equals sine theta multiplied by 1.15470 right or i will leave this here and now take it on the other side sine theta which is my of course unknown i will keep it on one side this becomes 1 divided by 1.15470 
correct so then theta will be equal to i will take sine onto the other side and trying to isolate sine uh, the theta because that's my unknown when sine goes to the other side this becomes sine inverse of 1.15470 so now if i press in my calculator sine inverse of 1 divided by 1.15470 i should ideally be getting the value of something very close to 60 degrees because I, above i have found out that cosecant 60 is 1.15470 right so similarly if you want to find you can see how the equation has changed similarly if you want to find sec theta which is equal to 1.30540 right 1.30540 you will be able to write the equation as theta equals cos inverse of 1 divided by 1.30540 right and similarly if cot theta equals 1.73205 and you have to find theta you can write theta equals tan inverse of 1 by 1 1.73205 and you will see in each of these cases how you will get values very similar to 60 40 and 30 so in the first case you will get something very close to 60 degrees something very close to what was that 40 degrees and here something very close to 30 degrees now why am i saying something very close to because remember i have only taken five numbers five decimal numbers so after the decimal i have only taken five numbers i have not taken the entire list so that is why you may not get exactly 60 exactly 40 and exactly 30 you will get something very close to it that's how the math works right but here the important thing was for me to show you how to find the inverse of cosecant secant and cotangent in case you are stuck with a situation like this during your math so now let's go into the scientific calculator and let me show you how i will get values very similar if i put this in the calculator all right i don't want to show you the calculator and this function together otherwise it gets a bit complicated so let's get all right guys so the first thing we will do is find out the inverse of the cosecant angle which i said was sine inverse of so what how do i write sine inverse so i will press shift and then i'll press sine inverse sine here so it becomes sine inverse automatically so if i press shift and sine it becomes sine inverse and then all i had to do was type 1 divided by 1.1547 and 0 all right so ideally i should get something very close to 60 degrees not exactly 60 but very close to 60 you can see i've got very close to 60 so it's almost 60 degrees and the reason is so you can see here is 60 degrees if i press this button here it will show in degrees as well all right because we knew the answer beforehand we can see that it's the same thing right similarly if i now press shift right shift and then i press cos this becomes cos inverse and i press 1 divided by 1 point three zero five four zero close the bracket and i press enter i should get something very close to 40 degrees right so you can see i have got a number very close to 40 degrees because i have taken only five decimal places that's why i'm not getting exactly 40 i'm getting something very close to 40 degrees if i had kept going more i would have got something very close to 40 degrees right and finally if i press shift and then i press 10 I get tan inverse of 1 divided by 1 1.73205 I close the bracket here and if I press equal to I should get something very close to 30 degrees so you can see I have got 30 degrees here right and this is how I find the inverse values of cosecant secant and cotangent which are the inverse of sine, cos and tan using the scientific calculator. So I hope this video was useful for your basic math learning. Let me know 
I look forward to your feedback and comments so that I can continue making these videos. Bye.